Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going back to a series that I just, uh, I don't know what it was, but like I never went back to filming it, and it's the bite-sized review series, and it's something I really need to get back into doing because my little sample basket is overflowing with samples. So I need to put pedal to the metal and actually like work more on these samples because you want to see my basket? literally overflowing. So before we jump into the video, I hope you'll give this a thumbs up if you like the return of this series, and if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you would consider subscribing, hitting that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So I'll throw the last video in the series up in the cards because I honestly, like, it's been so long and I need to start doing this. I don't know if I could do it weekly, I don't know if that'd give me enough time to use five prod or five samples. But I think I might have to, just because I think having a deadline would definitely help <laughs> trying to get through all these samples. So if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is just pick five samples out of my sample basket, and then I test all the products out, and then I give you like a little review before I pick five more samples. This is heavily inspired by LS and her series, which I love to pieces. So of course I'll link her channel and her series down below. So let's do a quick little rundown of all the products that I picked in the last video. So the first product or sample I'm going to talk about is a fragrance. This is from Replica and this is the fragrance Beach Walk. I used the majority of this and it's a nice smelling fragrance but definitely not something that I would gravitate towards for like my own personal wear. Like this would make an amazing candle or like a room spray, which is kind of what I used it as. I didn't really use it on myself because I didn't like the way that it smelled on me, but it was a great room spray. It smells, let's see, I got a little bit left. It smells like sunscreen and like salt water. Mainly sunscreen though. So if you like that kind of scent, if you like, um, like it does smell like summer. I'll put it that way. It does smell like summer in a little tube. So if you like summer, if you like sunscreen, if you like if you like being hot, because I don't. I, I'll take the snow over the hot any day. But if you like that, I would suggest getting a sample of this because the replica fragrances, they're really expensive. So I, I don't know if I would buy a full size. They're like over $100. But I would really recommend you pick up a sample because the sample did last a long time. So you could use a sample for fairly long. The next item I picked was actually fairly simple for me to use. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is one of my favorite moisturizers of all time. I use it fairly often, so I kind of already knew that I would like it, but I did want to use it up. So the whole point of the series is to use up all of my little samples. Because I used to save them for travel, but then even when the last time I took a trip, I just took a regular bottle of moisturizer. So like, there's no point in me hoarding these because I don't use it when I travel. The next sample really surprised me and now I'm like super interested in what else like this brand has. This is from Ren. This is the Ever Calm Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. I have never felt such a moisturizing mask before, if that makes sense. So it feels just like a really, really heavy moisturizer that you rub into your skin and then you just let it sink in and then whatever's left you just kind of take off with either a damp washcloth or like a little uh, wet cotton round and I had used this after I had shoveled snow so my face was a bit irritated it was red around my nose was like cold and hurting a little bit I used this and my skin just felt so moisturized and the redness definitely came down and very very impressed me so I'm definitely going to look into getting another sample of this. I'm not sure how much the full size costs, but I'm sure it's probably a lot. But it really did impress me, and I love the results that I got. The next sample was, it wasn't really a sample, unfortunately. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. I knew that I already liked this. I have the shade 1 and 2 that I use normally, but I was hoping I could use this for, like, either concealer or something, but there's literally, like only enough product in one of these little bubbles to do like half a swatch. So samples like this I now know like I'm not going to waste my time on because there's no way for me to actually use them unless I'm looking for a shade. And since I already knew my shade in this one, eh, it was a little bit of a waste. So that one was meh. 
but if you're close to my skin tone, the shade that I do is 1N2. The last product that I picked for this round was a moisturizing cream from Cetaphil. And this is for dry, sensitive skin. I do have combination skin, but I am looking for a nice, affordable, like, drugstore moisturizer. And this really did impress me. It's a fairly large bottle for a sample, so I've used this a couple of times and I still have some product left in here. But it wasn't too moisturizing, if that makes sense. It didn't overload my skin. So I'm testing out a moisturizer right now and it's just too much. Like it's for really dry skin and it's just too much for my combo skin. This one actually strikes a really good balance and it soaks into the skin really nicely and I'm just really impressed. So I'm going to finish up the rest of this bottle and see how much the full size is at CVS because this might be the next full size one that I pick up to test out in my ever <laughs> never ending quest to replace my Holy Grail moisturizer, which is that Clinique one, actually. So now that we've gone over all of those, let's pick some new samples. And boy, do I have way too many samples. So I can't even like rummage too much in here. So I'm gonna just, this is actually a whole bag of samples. See, I've got so many. So I am gonna leave this here. Let's, oh, I've got two. What do we have? Oh, it's a mascara. Okay, so the first thing we picked is from Giorgio Armani. This is the Eyes to Kill Classico Length and Volume Mascara. I've never tried a mascara from Armani. Wait. Yeah, that's why I sell. I've never tried a mascara from Armani. Ooh, they describe it as a length and volume lash artillery. Oh, I love it. So it's actually a fairly nice little mini. Let us check out this brush. Oh, that's a nice little brush. Okay, I'm excited to try this out. It is scented, which, uh, but this is what our brush looks like. It looks very promising. And I, uh, to be honest, I really do love mini mascara a lot better than full size mascara. So I'm actually really excited to try this one out. The next product that I picked is actually a mini lipstick. I had no idea that I had, uh, see, I have too many samples in here. Oh no, I ripped the box. Oh, this is so adorable. It's so tiny. So it's a mini Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Bad Blood. Ooh. Ooh, let's give you a swatch. Ooh. That's going to be perfect for the holidays. If I hadn't already filmed my Thanksgiving video, I might have used this red lip. Oh, but that's really pretty. So it's their Comfort Matte Formula. I only have one other Urban Decay lipstick, and it's from their, like, Fuel line, but I'm really excited about this. This is so cute. And obviously, it's not going to be something that I'll finish up by the next video, but I can definitely test it out. All right, let's dive back in. Oh, I didn't even know I had a mini of this. Okay, so I picked up the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. There's a decent amount in here. I don't know if it's going to be enough for a full use, but I love this mask. I really do. So I'll definitely use this the next time I deep condition. If you missed my curly hair journey video, I'll link that up in the cards. I talk a lot more in depth about that mask and about the rest of my curly routine. Oh, and then, see, I'm just picking up, now I'm just picking up things that I like. I got the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Since I already have a mascara, I think I'm going to put this back and pick something else. So we already have three. Let's put this back and pick out two more. I pick out another mascara. I keep picking out mascaras. I got a lot of mascaras in here. So the next thing we got is actually from Fenty. This is little samples of the Pro Filter Primer and a couple of shades of the foundation. This is actually really nice. So we have the primer. We have the shades 150, 220, 340, and 420. And it actually looks like there's enough product in here to get a use out of. So definitely going to use the primer. I've used that before and I do enjoy it. I'm going to try shade 150. I believe the shade that I used was 160, so that's not too far off. And I'll see if I can use the shades 220 or 340 for contouring or something. Anything to get just a little bit of use out of the sample that would otherwise just sit there. Oh, but it's a little big for my drawer. I'll open it up. 
And the last thing that I have is from Cora. So this is the Greek yogurt foaming clean clean foaming cream cleanser for all skin types. Oh, this is interesting. So it's a face cleanser. Um, my holy grail right now is my CeraVe, but I'll definitely give this a try. Are you scented? Please don't be scented. I can't tell if it's scented, so hope that's a good sign. Okay, so we've got our five new products and we're making work on this gigantic basket. Let me know if this is something that you guys wanna see weekly because I could definitely do that. Because like these samples aren't something that would be impossible to use or test out at least within a week. And I do want to do something a little bit more regular since I have so many of these samples. So thank you guys for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.